Hi, so I want to show you a little uh, script that I made. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about uh, the problem of maintaining metadata um, and sharing them between people. So I came up with a pretty cool solution and it's uh, very early stages, but this is kind of a proof of concept. So let's say I'm at Google Scholar and I want to download some new PDFs. So, uh, you know, this PDF looks pretty interesting. I'll grab that one and uh, let's see this one. This one looks pretty good as well. So I've got two new PDFs now, um, and if I go here, you'll see them here in my downloads directory. And I want to add these to Bibdesk, um, so I'm going to just drag them over. Okay. Fine. So now I have these PDFs, but with no metadata at all, as you see. Um, of course, traditionally what I would do is go to Google Scholar, use the BibTeX import and all that stuff. That works nice, but you know, let's say you have a whole directory full of PDFs that you got from somewhere um, and you want to import them, right? Uh, now, here's the new thing. Okay, well, I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna press uh, Control Option Command B. It's actually gonna go uh, to a server. Uh, it's gonna send a fingerprint of each file uh, it's going to try to retrieve uh, a BibTeX, um, uh, you know, uh, blob for each of them, and it's going to create a new publication with the right title and the right uh, file name and all the file, the PDFs and everything. So let's see if that works. We'll just press the three finger salute and the B. So you see here, it's uh, successfully imported metadata for two publications. So we have. Um, all the metadata that we would uh, expect to see. And we see here, uh, it's also renamed and moved the file appropriately. So of course, if we go to the downloads directory, it's no longer there. And if we go to the Bibdesk um, directory, we'll see that it's uh, in fact exactly where it's supposed to be. Uh, that's pretty cool. Now, I primed this demo by already importing uh, this. Uh, so so BibTechNet is, is a web server. It's running on localhost right now, but it, it could just as well run um, on my server on the internet. And I'll just very quickly show you the very simple API that I have. Um, so um, I'm gonna just copy this path and if, um, What, what this command does is simply com uh, compute uh, SHA2 hash for this PDF. And this is just a unique number that will always be the same for the, exactly the same file. Okay, so it's a binary, you know, if you change one byte, it's going to be completely different. Now, here I'm going to just, uh, I just got you that number because I want to show you that it's actually an online service uh, running on localhost right now, but it's through Apache, it could, might as well just run on um, a public server. And the API is simply BibTexNet and then the SHA2. Um, and when we make that query, and we get back the JSTOR, uh, the, sorry, the, the BibTeX information that we need, right? So all it needs to do is to go there, make that query, uh, get that BibTeX, import into uh, BibDesk. And the thing is, once that's running on Rogan Mian instead of localhost, you could do that from your server as well, uh, from your computer, right? So that's the really neat thing about this. Um, now, uh, I wrote a really simple script that just computes uh, SHA2 hashes for all of the thousand publications that I have and uploads them to the server. And so you could run that on your computer. Other people could run that on their computers and eventually would have kind of a crowdsourced database of um, citation information. So anyway, um, uh, as I said, early stages, there's still a lot of issues to work out, but uh, I still think it's pretty cool, so I want to show it to you. Uh,